Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, you want to come in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges, and this is an older battle. This is back from like last year, 2021, something like that. I don't remember exactly the date of it, uh, but it was during one of my live streams. This is a 4v4 on the settlement of Medlam. We're going to put the town center smiley face right there because that's the town center for Medlam. All right, let's take a look at the armies. We'll start off on the attacker side. First, looking here at Saba being commanded by Punk. And he has brought six units of Moscow Marauders, two Sabaean Swordsmen, two Mercenary Marib Guard, one Noble Sword, one Sabaean Spearman. General is a Marib Camel Counterfract. He also has one unit of the Sabaean Camel Counterfracts. And he did bring two units of Sabaean Archers with him. From what we can see at least. I don't know if he's still got more hiding back in the woods. Uh, moving over here. We do have a Bowie Eye being commanded by Bloody Stranger. And from what we can see again. He has brought five units of sword followers. Two Celtic warriors. One Levy Freeman. And a giant ballista. Then we do have Kush over here. Being commanded by Bearded Warman. And he has brought seven units of Kushite slave infantry. Five armored Chotel warriors. General is a royal archer. He also has three Nubian bowmen. And he also has brought a giant ballista. And then over here we have Seleucid. Seleucid being commanded by David Eight, uh, D David Zero Eight Drury, and he has brought five units of Thorax Swordsmen, one Thoreo Spear, one Thorax Pikeman, one Royal Peltast, and two units of Persian Light Archers. From what we can see, getting it onto the Defenders factions, we will take a look first here at Tylus being commanded by the Centurion, and he has brought seven units of Tribal Warriors, five Celtic Warriors, two Levy Freeman. General is an Osworn. He also has three units of the Celtic Slingers, one light horse, and he did bring a raiding horse. He's out actually over there on the side. Then we have an Arverni being commanded by me, Joe on it. <laughs> Arverni being commanded by Joe on it. I have brought with myself, I have brought with myself, well, I had brought five units of Chosen Swords, five Celtic Warriors, two Osworn, one of those being the General, four Gallic Hunters, and one Heavy Horse, which I have stationed right there at the front gate. Actually, I ran out there. I lost some, so I came back inside because it hurt. Uh, then we have a Masesli over here being commanded by I Danube, and he had brought eight units of Desert Legionnaires, two Desert Cohort, one Numidian Light Infantry, one Slave Infantry, two Heavy Skirmishers, one of those being the General, and two Tribal Slingers. And then we have a Galatia over here. Galatia being commanded by Hoax, and he has brought seven units of Chosen Swords, six Galatian Legionnaires. General is a Galatian Nobleman. Three Syrian archers and one Celtic slinger. But all right, Saba already landing up here. He's got the noble swords there. Noble swords actually look like they're making their way over here towards the uh, tower. And they probably want to be a little standoffish on that because that would be a ton of javelins hitting them in the face. Over on this side, one unit of Desert Legionnaires currently taking on a Masagat Marauder and a Sabaean Spearman. Uh, the rest of the armies here still taking their time to get up here. Actually, nope, 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 nope. Seleucid so already has a Thorax Swordsman inside the settlement, and oh, well, what is he shooting at? Is he shooting right there? I think he is. Is he shooting right there? Oh, you don't have any more ammo? No, he's firing again. Let's see. Come on. I think he's shooting right into those Thorax. Or he was. I mean, he's got 73 kills already. Yeah, he's firing right there into the Thorax Swordsman. That's hilarious. Uh, we do have a unit of the Levy Freeman there for Tylus outside of the settlement. And he'd be wise, Thorax, yeah, they would definitely be wise to not come over here and try and attack because Celtic Slingers could easily just walk right up there. All the Levy Freeman would have to do is back up, and those Slingers would murder them. All right, Bowie Eye and Kush over here still trying to figure out what they want to do. Actually, it looks like they've burned down the front tower there, which is definitely going to be good. And I think I might mess up here. I don't know. Do I move them? I don't know. Uh, it's at 69%. Giggity. We'll stay here for a second. 
or a couple more seconds. We'll just wait, see what Saba's doing over here real fast. Uh, Saba is pressing in some more of his Masagat Marauders, still taking over that tower, but the tower here, come on, do I lose anybody? No, I move them, barely, barely move them out of the way, wow, all right. So back over here is really where the action is taking place so far. We have a lot of javelins being thrown. Looks like the Celtic Slingers are firing away. Yep, they're firing down in here. Ooh, get some shots in onto the civilian archers trying to run away. Zero kills so far. Looked like he was going to try and bring them around over here to maybe get some shots in onto the flank. But them Celtic Slingers said, no, no, bud. No, no, you're getting out of there. Uh, now we have the Marib Camel Cataphrag General get really close up to the wall, which would not be a good idea because the Slingers could easily turn, start firing at him, and he's also going to start taking shots from that tower as well. But so far, the Saba attack on this side seems to be going not that great. Really not that good. Sabian so Swordsmen have shifted out with the Noble Swordsmen trying to take on these Kalashian Swords, but Javelins seem to be their enemy. 39 kills for that unit, 39 kills for that unit. So, so far... Not too good over there for the Saba attack. Let's see what's going on back out over here. We actually had a unit of Celtic warriors come out of the wall. Slow more of these Thorax swordsmen down. Still have that one, two. Oh, there's two units in here now. Did he stop firing? Yes, he did. 155 kills. Looks like he's still got another shot loaded here. Nope, he's firing. Oh, I think he's trying to hit over here. I think he's trying to shoot at that unit right there. Unless he's... Unless, is he still shooting right there? He might be. He's got another shot reloaded. Let's see. Let's see. You going to fire? No? Okay. Well, the Tylus artillery is still right there as well. I think he just shot that way. So now Seleucid is going to start making their way this way. Which, this Cav coming over here. But it's nothing really crazy. I mean, the raiding horsemen are actually kind of good in melee. I think the light horse are okay in melee as well. But they're only 15 armor. The raiding horsemen there with a 45 armor. So they have a bit higher of a chance of succeeding. But okay, here comes my cavalry out through the main gate, and I just blast on through. Losing some, of course. Of course, losing some, because I went out when this unit was too close to the gate. But still, I made it outside of the settlement. Didn't kill anybody. Somehow, still zero kills. Very, very confused by that. Uh, and there is the unit of Ethiopian cavalry that has just shown up out over the from the woods here. Bowie getting up. Still hasn't landed anybody yet. Kush has landed some. He's got some Kushite slave infantry here currently taking on some of my Celtic warriors. There's two of them, though, taking on my one unit of Celtic warriors. So let's see what... I don't even remember what I do, guys. I have no idea what I ended up doing on this battle. I don't remember what time this battle was, if it was the last one, if it was the first one. I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Celtic warriors going to charge on in here onto this Kushite slave infantry unit. And, yep, javelins being thrown from both sides. Kushite Slave Infantry, whoa, Silver Chevron, maybe that's why they're winning, I could definitely be why they're winning against the Celtic Warriors right now, but I mean, they're losing man count wise, but they are starting to win the fight, more Kushite Slave Infantry climbing up into the settlement, I'm going to shift up some more of my Celtic Warriors there, but I don't want to focus on just me, so let's get back over here and see how Galatia is dealing with Saba, looks like those first couple of units of the Saba unit, the Saba army I should say, have been killed off so we have another unit of mercenary gods, Masagat Marauders that have moved up. Noble Swordsman there with 92 left in the unit, 36 kills, but oh boy. We got some Syrian archers firing up and down over the buildings into these Masagat Marauders, and that is going to hurt. That is definitely going to hurt. Are they still volleying? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Clipping down a couple more of them. Now we have the Noble Swordsman actually charging in as well. Get back over here, see how Seleucid is dealing with, uh, or Tylus, I should say, is dealing with Seleucid. Frontline is finally starting to break down here for the Celtic Warrior unit. They are starting to get overrun. Second unit of Celtic Warriors on the wall there. Obviously, that unit is losing decisively as well as they are surrounded by two units of Thorax, or actually three units of Thorax swordsmen. But now we have, what is this? Oh, we got some Syrian Ar Persian Light Archers. Sorry, Persian Light Archers that have been caught by the unit of Light Horse. 42 kills so far for them. We have some Thoreo Spears here now going to... Ooh, good volley right there. Clean volley right into the side of all of that Light Horse. But the Light Horse, he's just going to move. Yeah, he's just going to swing around and get back into the other unit of Persian Light Archers. So the first unit here not looking very solid. Only seven kills, 33 men left in the unit. They are routing away. Looks like the second unit is trying to run away as well, dragging the Light Horse over there. Oh, okay. Nope, he's going to pull them back. Where's the raiding horse? Sitting back over there. My heavy horse is sitting way back over there as well. 
I think maybe we were trying to wait for Seleucid to see what he was going to do. Maybe if he was going to kind of bring those archers out over here. And maybe we were going to do a little wraparound thing. But I don't know. Back over here, though, on the front line, the Celtic Warriors now starting to show some of their strength. And I actually think that they're, the Kush soldiers are actually getting shot in the back by some of the Nubian bowmen there. Celtic Warriors starting to show some strength there. 103 for that unit, 131 there. Some chosen swordsmen have moved up. Just look like they're starting to get involved in the fight. Celtic Warriors here, 68 kills, taking on armored Shota Warriors. That is not going to be a fun fight for those Celtic Warriors at all. Oh, wait. Did I just collide another unit in there? I think I did. Yes, I did. I peeled that one smaller unit of Celtic Warriors off. Good cycle out there. Chosen Swordsman going to retreat away, and Celtic Warriors charging on there and there. All right. All right. So Bowie actually made a breach over here with his Ballista, which is definitely going to help the Kush and Bowie push out, or in, I should say. Um, Cecily does have some of his Desert Legionnaires and a unit of the Desert Cohort right there. And look over here. Numidian Riders didn't even know they were there. Had no idea that they were even on my one of my teammates' uh, units there. But they are going to come in onto the backside of the Celtic Ballista there. And Bowie Eye still having more sword followers hanging out in the woods. But that Ballista crew, oh, big charge into them. But the Bowie Eye, yeah, sword followers didn't turn around. Did not turn around. Only killed two on that one. Maybe should have left. The, whoa, 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 whoa. 295 kills. What the heck did I miss? All right, I'm going to definitely have to go back and find this part of the replay again because I don't know how he got 295 kills, but we're going to find out. So be ready for that clip to come in probably right about now. Okay, so uh, I found it, and it really wasn't that long into the battle replay. I didn't even look back over here to see what was going on. Uh, so here's the Numidian Riders, and Saba apparently put some of his slingers over here. So we're just going to watch this little bit right here. Yeah, they're just going to charge on in. Actually, they don't even, I don't even think they know they're there. Oh, no, they do. They do. They found them. So the Slingers have now been charged into. It's going to rip right through them. I mean, this is a medium shock cavalry, but still shock nonetheless. And they're already up to 65 kills. Murdered that unit of Slingers. Going to reverse their field, get into the second unit of Slingers. I'm not sure why. Well, I mean, I do know why. So there is this walk, this back path right here for the attackers. They can use to fire down into the town center. Um, but to leave them over here, I mean, maybe he just wasn't expecting this unit of Numidian Riders to be over here. Maybe he just wasn't expecting it. So good shout by Masasili. It was definitely a good move to have that unit out up over here. And he's actually got his other uh, Numidian Light Infantry right there also because he's got one up inside the center, up inside the actual settlement. So... I even missed that with the army comp. But yeah, these boys already up to 142, dousing some slingers there for sure. But we are a long way away from that 343 kills. But that's the beginning of where the uh, Numidian Riders started getting their kills. So once I see the next part, I will add that part into the uh, video as well. So hopefully you guys will continue to watch and uh, enjoy on. So let's see where this goes from here. Those are bowmen right there in front of this unit. And that unit of bowmen had um, zero kills. So very unfortunate right there. But 278 in there, and there they go. Completely destroyed. Sabian bowmen, Sabian archers, done. 28 of them left. Massive job by that Numidian rider. So there's where he got the majority of his kills. Guessing the rest of the kills that he got was from the two ballista crews. But yeah, very well done with that Numidian rider. All right, let's get back into the video. But all right, getting back into the battle replay here now. We do have the Celtic Warriors continuously just plowing down onto these Kushite slave infantry. The Armored Chota Warriors still doing great. 159 kills. Doing pretty good job against the Celtic Warriors there. Chosen Swordsman losing decisively against the Armored Chota Warriors as well. Uh, but we do have some sword followers for Bowie Eye starting to make their way over here. I see an Osworn right there for Bowie Eye. Very good. So he's got two. He's got two units of Osworn, one of those being his general. Very good. 
Uh, Kush had Slave Infantry 62 left in the unit, and now Kush is starting to bring all of his archers around over this way. Looks like he's going to try and fire in this direction. Where is his? There's his. There's, there it is. There's that Ethiopian cavalry. Want to keep an eye on that, but look over here. Oh my god, the Seleucid force was hit, in fact. 103 for the raiding horsemen, 128 for the light horse. My cavalry, still no, no kills. No kills for my cavalry, but it's all right. It's okay. I think it's going to be okay. Oh, no, never mind. Ethiopian cavalry making their way over here. Yeah, that light horse is going to die. Bye-bye, light horse. Oh, no, he's running. He's running, but he did lose a couple. Well, actually, more than a couple. He lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven or eight right there. But back up on the front line, still trying to hold over there against Kush and Bowie. Yeah, it's just not going to work out very well. Back over here, though, Saba is still having a very difficult time trying to make his way through here. Uh, I did bring up a unit of his mercenary Marib guard. I think he's got another unit moving their way up. Yes, and another unit of the Masagat Marauders right there. Don't know where all of his archers went, though. Is that maybe where he got all those kills? Ooh, well, you guys did see in that uh, in that little replay back there, so... Yeah, yeah. All right, but back over on the front. Yeah, um, Bowie Eye's still kind of moving. Actually, he didn't move. He stopped. I thought he was still moving that unit. Celtic Warriors here, 110 kills, taking on some Celtic Warriors and an Armored Chota Warrior. But now we have the Kush Artillery starting to fire away. 36 kills for him. He did lose one of his Ballistas, which is definitely good. But oh boy, Kush not paying attention. Light Horse going to get right in onto those. Oh boy. That is a nice little charge there. Doing, I mean, It's not doing anything. He killed a couple. He killed a couple. I'll give him that. But the rest of what he's doing is that he's forcing the archers away from being able to continue to fire and support the rest of the army, which is definitely huge. Definitely huge. Uh, I am now down to 12 horses left, but I, apparently I got 80 kills from something. I'm not sure where or what, but I must have charged into something and been kind of successful. Because I had 8 and now... I had 20, sorry, now I have 18. Or 12. Wow. Wow, numbers. Numbers, people, numbers. But right, I back over here, Galatia again with his archers... Syrian heavy archers firing so far. Oh my god. Getting great shots in onto the backside of this mercenary Marib guard. Dropping them down pretty quickly. He's going to have Moscow Marauder now going to charge in there. Syrian archers already up in melee, which usually means they're out of ammo. 157 kills with that unit of Syrians. Not too shabby at all. We actually did have a unit of the... Uh, the Sabine Camel Cataphracts making their way all the way down over here. And I think that was the final little bit of cavalry. What is this? What is this? Ethiopian cavalry? Was that the... I think that was the uh, the Numidian cavalry. So they are now gone, but still did an amazing job. 343 kills. Wow. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. Took about half of the ballista crew out. Not bad. Uh, mine and Tylus' cavalry still rumbling around. 80 and 113 for them. We have some Thoreo Spears now making their way over here. So it looks like Seleucid has given up on his attack. So Seleucid is now going to make his way over here and try and meet up with his allies. But, I mean, still got two little baby units of cavalry rumbling around. Little bit. Well, mine's a little baby unit. His is still pretty solid. But, all right, going to charge in there. And all the archers are in front. 18 kills for that unit. 24 kills for that unit. And here comes a little rear charge on them. Persian light archers. Not a good charge at all. Yeah, I didn't really do very well with this cavalry. Obviously, I didn't really do very well. Only 80 kills with a heavy horse. That is a bit shameful. Not oh, God, this is not going to be good. Raiding horsemen, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, God, Ethiopian cavalry. E Actually, let's see, check the numbers here. 50... Melee defense, 46-38 against 32-80. I don't know. I'm sorry. That's the that's the range. 36-34. Eh, I don't know. That melee defense, though. Melee defense, 36. Melee defense, 50. But armor is only 15. So that's that's something in the raiding horseman's uh, favor. Possibly. Possibly. But all right, now Tylus is going to shift over some of his units as he was obviously uh, successful in his defense on this side of the wall. But with Seleucid making their way down and around... He's going to start shifting some units over. Going to give me a hand. Let's get back over here. See how Saba is doing. Saba's gone. Okay, Saba's army was destroyed. So now we're pretty much dealing with a little bit of Seleucid, Kush, and Bowie. And I don't really think Kush and Bowie. I mean, Kush sent in a lot of his uh, arm, his 
little baby Kushite slave infantry here, but he saved a lot of his, yeah, he's still got two, three armored Shoto warriors outside, still has his Ethiopian cavalry, so he's actually lost one of his Shoto war armored Shoto warriors, I should say. Because I only see the three of them now. Three outside, one inside, so one of them was definitely killed off. But now shots going to start be start coming in here. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, Bowie Eye is going to fire this way. Firing some flame arrows in onto the uh, tribal slingers there. Maybe he's trying to do some damage to the morale. I'm not really sure. Is he, oh, that slows down their shots. Doesn't that slow down their shots? Yeah, reload time. That's right. It slows down their reload time. So, I mean, it's definitely a an effective thing to do. Damage, reload time, cannot use abilities. So, but... And, I mean, they're just tribal slingers. They don't have abilities. They don't have any abilities. All right, but back over here, we have some of the tribal warriors trying to take on these armored Chota warriors again. But, ooh, boy, here I come. Chosen swordsman coming around the backside around over here. Let's see. Is Kush firing at me? He is not. He's got his archers all blobbed up right there in the center. But he's trying to get them. I think he's trying to just get them closer to the wall to maybe get some good shots still in our into our defense. Uh, I have some of my Gallic Hunters right there, 101 kills there. Chosen Swords, I don't think any of these guys, yeah, these guys have not seen combat yet. But now, Galatia is going to be able to start cracking down over on this side, just like Tylus was moving down over on this side. Is that Raiding Horseman still around out here? I don't think so. Now, Raiding Horseman is gone. My General is still way back over there. Galatian Nobleman General is still way back up over there. My Osworn is sitting way back over there, just waiting. Waiting for the call if he's even ending up to be needed. Sword followers here taking on the Desert Legionnaires. Desert Legionnaires were winning that right there, but now the Sword followers getting some fantastic javelin volleys in onto these Desert Legionnaires. Wow. Very nicely done there. Safely holding Bowie Eye here at the wall. Very, very good. Over here, we have a Royal Peltas General now for Seleucid making their way in. And here we go. I think Kush is firing again. Oh, no. Kush is getting hammered. Ye, Celtic Slingers up there just firing down 61, 81, and 64. So they definitely still have some ammo left. The General here with 98 kills. He definitely has some ammo left. But we do have two of the Persian Light Archers for Seleucid firing away. Oh, man. Yeah, Bowie Ice getting chewed up now. Celtic Slingers, and is that the Numidian Skirmishers firing? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, it is. Heavy Numidian Skirmishers up on the wall there, just blasting down into these Celtic Warriors with their bow, with their javelins, I should say. But, oh, boy. Here's a prop. Nope, 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 nope. He pulled off. He pulled off. I thought maybe he was going to come trying to barrel his way through here and slam into these Tribal Warriors. Looks like, I mean, that's maybe what he's still going to try and do. He's got those Sabian... Camel Cataphracts moving up. Ooh, one of the archer units gone. Yes, it is. Nubian Bowman out of here. 61 kills in total for them, unfortunately. But he still has three units of bows. So Kush still all right with the Bowman. But okay, here we go. Zabian Camel Cataphracts making their way through, blasting into some of these tribal warriors. And this is an avenue. He could try and come that way, but nope. My uh, Celtic chosen swordsmen over here were victorious against this unit of Thoreo Spears. And you can see uh, the Saba Cataphracts pulling back out. We have some of the Thorax Pikemen now making their way inside the settlement. Over here, another unit of Thorax Pikemen just getting absolutely murdered. Absolutely murdered. Javelins coming in. Heavy, heavy Numidian Skirmisher General blasting. Oh, God, yeah. 12 kills for some Thorax Pikemen. That is pretty rough, but here we go. The Cataphracts coming back in again. Camel Cataphracts, Sabine Camel, and Marib Camel Cataphracts trying to make their way in here. I mean, there's, there's a small gap right there, but oh, he just charged right into the back of the Thorax Pikeman. He probably knocked a bunch of them down. Some of them did get through here. Okay. Chosen Swordsman in the way. Another unit of Chosen Swordsman and the Osworn General for Tylus making their way over here. Celtic Bowmen, or Gallic Hunters, I should say, firing away here. 62, 79 kills for them. This unit here was zero. Not sure exactly where I ended up moving them for that point, but oh god, still. Oh, we have Celtic Slingers. Yep, Celtic Slingers now up on the wall, just murdering down 
on some more of these Celtic bowmen chasing them away. Some more armored Chotel warriors have made their way into the fight. Let's see, 145 men, 18 kills for that unit. This unit here, 159, just getting in there, but already up to 30 kills, 31 kills, and they've only lost one man. So very, very well done so far. Tylus wrapping up over here. Actually, ooh, these tribal warriors losing decisively. How are they losing decisively, the armored Chotel warriors? There's more of them. There's two units of them against one unit of our... Guys, you tell me Armored Chotel Warriors are that strong. Are they that strong? They might be. <laughs> they might just be that strong. Guys are doing pretty good. Oh, no, this one's losing. Taking on the O Sworn General. It says the O Sworn General is losing as well, though. More than likely because he's getting shot. Yeah, he's getting shot. He is thankfully getting shot on his shielded side, though. So that kind of makes it a little bit better. Kamikata Frack General inside down to 23. Oh, wow. Oh, he got caught. He got crept up into melee. I think the other Kamikata Frack is dead. Oh, no, it is. Both. Oh, the General's still alive currently. But this cataphract unit, oh, javelin volley. There he goes. So Saba does look like they are going to be exiting the battle here. That is very, very rough. I mean, but he tried. He tried something. He charged his general in there. Probably got some kills. Let's see. 19 kills for the camel cataphract general. Uh, I don't even see any of the Sabaean cataphracts left. I think they're all dead. Let's see. That's tribal warriors. I did see a horse riding here. Is that still the Marib? Marib Kamakata? Yeah, that's still the general unit. Back over here, though. Misesli and Galatia doing a good number on these sword followers from Bowie Eye. But, I mean, he's still got more. He's got another two units over 100 men. And he still has his Osworn outside. Tribal Warriors there. Osworn General. So, I mean, there's still some forces left. But Kush does look like he's getting down to his last. Yeah, Armored Shotel Warriors there. 135 kills down to 60 men. Kushite Slave Infantry there, 56 kills down to 20 men, and look at this. His Armored Chotel is just getting murked. 207, though, very respectable number there, 187 for this unit. They still have some kills left in them, for sure. Looks like he's going to come on over here, rear charge into the back of my Chosen Swordsman there. The Chosen Swordsman now taking on two units of Armored Chotel Warriors. Yeah, that's going to be a tough fight for pretty much anything, but again... My barbarian ally, we have an Osworn general sitting right there. He is going to charge on in and give me a hand with some of these armored Chota warriors who are also getting shot. Also getting shot by the slingers way back over here. They are firing away in onto that armored Chota warrior. We have some desert legionnaires making their way over, cleaning out. Oh, those, those, those slingers. Oh, nasty. Those slingers just murdered the rest of that armored Chota warrior unit. We have the Ethiopian cavalry now has made his way inside the settlement. Persian Light Archers there for Seleucid, 47 and 57 kills. Kush still firing away. His general there, 111 men left with 120 kills. Not too bad. And he's actually shifting the rest of his archers down over here. Maybe he's going to try and give Bowie Eye a hand. I mean, Bowie Eye is definitely the strongest force that the attackers still have. Uh, we have the Ethiopian Cavalry again shifting back down over here. But it does look like this final little bit of the Armored Chotel Warriors are getting taken out. We have one final unit of the... Uh, sword followers over here as well. Ethiopian Cavalry coming in. Unfortunately, he just charged right into the back of those sword followers. There we go. Getting around the corner, getting into that Osworn General of Tylus. But again, Archer Fire coming in. 131, 118. Good shooting there. Taking down that Ethiopian Cavalry, which is going to be huge. Because that is pretty much going to... Yeah, that's going to remove any Cavalry force from the attackers. Uh, the defenders, we don't have any Cavalry left either. Um, but... It's definitely good for the attackers to not have any cavalry, just in case they kind of slip past, maybe slip through the line somewhere, find a gap. It happens. It, it happens, people. You can find a gap. If you look hard enough, you can find a gap. Trust me, you can.
Got a little bit of a switch out there. That looks like a cohort that just charged in. Oh, no, it's more Legionnaires. Okay. I thought it was a cohort. Really brutal fighting still going on here. We actually have a unit. Oh, my Chosen Swordsman. I put a unit of Chosen Swordsman up on the wall there. Looked like they got some Javelin Volleys down there. They're going to be taking on some Sword Followers right there. Looks like Kush sent in the rest of his infantry over on this side. Yeah, he's got his two archers, his general. Yeah, Ethiopian Cavalry now starting to run away. Down to 25 left. Maybe he's going to try and get them back inside, try and help out. But does look like the Kush force is going to be taken out. So now it's down to Bowie and all four defenders are still very much present on the battlefield so this was kind of a uh yeah kind of a destruction kind of a destruction but again i mean it was a fun battle i remember everybody i do remember as long ago as it was i do remember everybody having kind words for everybody after the battle was over there was no you know there was no mean talk there was no any any crap or anything like that like it was just normal whatever fight and you move on to the next fight which is how it should be it's really how it should be in the total war community and i really hope that uh that that's how it ends up you know becoming more of and there's no problems there's no issues just really hope that that people just get along i don't know it's maybe sounding a little sappy right now but i don't really know what else to do for the final two minutes of the battle so i'm kind of just gonna swing around here i mean you can see that Galatia, myself, and Masesli are now coming around over on this side. So we're pretty much wrapping up the attackers. Final two minutes left in the battle, and oh, that is the not good fast forward. So we're just going to fast forward like that, just to get rid of the battle. I mean, obviously, this was a brutal fight. It was absolutely a brutal, brutal, brutal fight. And I actually want to get back way over here. Where did those Masesli, I think he started them off here. And he just came out, and I don't know where he got all those kills, though. That's what I don't know. But, again, I'm just remembering that I'm going to put that clip into the battle replay when I, once I get to that part, or once I finish it, and I will just put that part of the re the, uh, the fight in there. But the Osuan General there for Bowie Eye cracking down, breaking, and that is going to be the end of the battle right there. Final 30 seconds of the fight. Sword Followers still trying to hold on against these Chosen Swordsmen. And everything else is just pretty much pouring out of the settlement now as well to push the rest of the attack off. Uh, some Celtic Bowmen going to turn back around, but six seconds left. They're just going to waver and break away again. So there you go. Costly victory. Let's take a look at the uh, armies. We'll start off, obviously, here with myself because uh, I guess I sent the battle replay in. I ended up with 1,957 kills. My general didn't get involved at all. Osworn, uh, sorry, my heavy horse only with 80, 81 kills, but my archers did pretty good. 145, 131, 118, 115. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 165, 161, 111. They did all right. Three out of the five did pretty good. Uh, Chosen Swordsman, 158, 152, 195. 69, giggity, a, and my other Osworn there with 121 kills. Then we have Hoax, 2,236 kills. General didn't get involved. His Slingers, 258. Syrians, 239, 175, 156. Uh, his Legionnaires, 143, 153. Galician Swords, 153, 134, 258. Wow, 160, 210. Great job there. Then we have Centurion, 2,101 kills, 99 with his General. Light Horse, 153. Raiding Horseman, 125. Uh, his Celtic Slingers, 128, 131. Getting in with his Celtic Warriors, 112. Yeah, that's about it for them. Getting into his Tribal Warriors, though, 245, 127, 187, 235. Great job there. And then we have I Danube with Masesli, 1848. Uh, he had 93 with his general. Other skirmisher there with 176. His tribal slingers didn't really get very... I'm sorry, skirmisher. I think I said slinger, but I meant to say skirmisher there. Uh, his tribal slingers really didn't get a whole lot, but that Numidian rider, look at that, 343 kills. Amazing. Uh, his Desert Cohort, 213. Legionnaires, 163, 175, 172, 229. Very good. Two units that needed to get involved. Very, very good there. Then we're getting in onto the attackers. We have Bearded Warman here uh, with Kush. 2,146 kills. 136 with his general Ethiopia Cavalry, unfortunately, really 84. His Nubian, actually one Nubian Bowman there, 105. Armored Chotel Warriors, 202, 183, 244, 203, and 316. And his Kush Slave Infantry, we got one unit there with 109. Oh, 68. Not giggity. 
Then we have David 08 Drury with Seleucid 1075 80 with his general. His other one of the Royal Peltas there 115, not too bad. Uh, his Persian archers did not get a whole lot done. Thorax Swordsman 105, 164, and his pikes didn't. Oh, wait, we got another one down there. So he did bring four. All right, his other Persian archer didn't really do very much. Anyway, uh, then we have Bloody Stranger with Bowie Eye 1520, 90 with the general, 114 with the other Osworn. Sword followers 127, 134, 130, 190, uh, 184. Celtic Warriors top was 84, and his Celtic Bowman top there was 71. And then we have Punk with Saba, 19 on the general, 47 on the Sabian Cataphracts. His archers and slingers just got completely murdered off. Uh, his Marib card, nah, not doing very much. Mercenary Masagot, there you go, 69, giggity, 98, 97, 209, 89. Noble Swordsman, 80, uh, and his two units of Sabian Swordsman, 61 and 67. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay. You never know what you're going to see. You never know what I'm going to find. How far back am I in the Rolodex of re of, uh, of replays am I going to roll? You, you just never know. But all right, that is going to be the end of the battle replay for today. So hopefully you did enjoy the battle replay. Please make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, subscribe to the channel on the road to 10K for the year of 2022. Obviously, if we get more, awesome. Um, but yeah, already 9,100, over 9,100 subscribers. So been a... Uh, pretty last pretty awesome uh, last week or so so yeah have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one